Hello, everybody. In this lesson, we will learn the control circuit for multiple places. Before installation, it is necessary to carefully read the electrical diagram of the multi-site control circuit. Clarify the composition and working principle of the circuit, select tools, instruments, and equipment according to the specifications of the motor, and conduct quality inspection. The tools used in this lesson include a multimeter, a measuring pen, a screwdriver, and a wire stripper. The installation steps for this line are as follows. 1. Install components. 2. Install the control circuit first and then install the main circuit. 3. Self-inspection. 4. Power on test run. When installing the circuit, attention should be paid to the installation process. The following situations do not meet the process requirements. In this diagram, the direction of the wire number labeling for the three-phase electricity is inconsistent, with the U-phase V-phase labeling to the right, but the W-phase labeling to the left. The wire in this example does not have a wire number, at the same time, there is also a problem of the insulation layer being pressed into the terminal. In this example, the wire is wrapped around the terminal in reverse. The wiring diagram of this line is shown in the figure the characteristic of the circuit is to connect the start button in parallel and the stop button in series. Next, let's complete the installation of the multi-site control circuit. Based on this rating standard, give your route a score. Next, learn about troubleshooting multiple control circuits. Through the learning in this section, we can proficiently use a multimeter to detect circuit voltage and use the voltage method to repair multi-ground control circuits. The observation method can be used to find the fault point, that is, comparing the circuit diagram and carefully checking the installation and connection of the circuit. If the observation method cannot find the fault point, it is necessary to use an instrument to check until the fault point is found and eliminated. The instrument method for checking fault points it is to measure the parameters of a circuit through an instrument and compare them with normal values. If they are consistent or similar to normal values, considering measurement errors, it indicates that the circuit is normal. If they are inconsistent or differ significantly, it indicates that there is a problem with the circuit. The commonly used inspection instrument is a multimeter, which generally includes resistance method and voltage method for inspection. We have already learned about the resistance measurement method earlier, and we feel that the advantage of this method is that it is relatively safe to measure in the event of a power outage. The disadvantage is that the measurement of resistance is not accurate, especially when parasitic circuits have a significant impact on the measurement of resistance. The voltage measurement method has the advantages of high accuracy and efficiency, while the disadvantage is that it carries a certain danger due to live measurement. Today we will learn this method, and it is important to pay attention to safety during operation. Voltage measurement method is a method of distinguishing circuit conditions by measuring circuit voltage. Voltage measurement methods mainly include step measurement method and segmented measurement method. One dot step measurement method. It is a method of placing a meter rod based on a certain point in the circuit, usually selecting a starting point, end point, or grounding point, and sequentially measuring the voltage of the other meter rod in the circuit to determine whether the circuit is normal through voltage measurement. Connect the circuit power, turn the multimeter to the voltage range, and press button SB2 without releasing it. Under normal circumstances, the voltage of each section is as follows. 0 to 1 voltage is 110V. 0 to 3 voltage is 110V. 0 to 5 voltage is 110V. 0 to 7 voltage is 110V. 0 to 9 voltage is 110V. 0 to 11 voltage is 110V. Turn the multimeter to the voltage range and press button SB2 without releasing it. The measurement results are as follows. The voltage of line 5 and above is normal, and the voltage of line 7 and below is zero. Please analyze where the fault is located. Yes, the problem is with the button between 5 to 7. The method mentioned earlier requires pressing button SB2. However, if it is operated by a single person, it is inconvenient to press the button. In this case, a measurement method without pressing the button can be used, the breakpoint can be used as the boundary, and the step-by-step -step measurement method can be used to measure the lines on both sides of the breakpoint. Turn the multimeter to the voltage range, and without pressing the button, the voltage of each section is as follows. 
7 to 5 voltage is 110V. 7 to 3 voltage is 110V. 7 to 1 voltage is 110V. 1 to 9 voltage is 110V. Turn the multimeter to the voltage range, and without pressing the button, the measurement results are as follows. Please analyze where the fault is located. Yes, the fault location is between 7 to 9. 2. Dot segmented measurement method. The circuit is divided into several sections, the voltage of each section is measured separately, and the voltage measurement is used to determine whether the circuit is normal. This method serves as our self-learning content. Some issues that need to be noted for voltage measurement methods are as follows. 1. Stay safe. 2. Pay attention to different voltage levels and change the range. 3. If it is lower than 20% of the rated voltage, it can be considered as a fault. That's the end of the content for this class. See you next time.